Praise God for you. I'm excited to talk to you today and to present to you this amazing master's course we are beginning. My name is Nchanji Kenneth, PCG Church in Bamenda. We have a major organization called the Kingdom of God Dominion Ministries. Under this Kingdom of God Dominion Ministries, we have the lead ministry being PCG Church. Others are in it like the Healing Academy. One of them that I'm about to introduce to you right now is the Kingdom School of Marriage. And as led by God, having carefully considered many things and he approved of it, I want to begin a whole master's course. I call it master's course because the things we'll be saying right here, trust me, will bless you abundantly. Master's course that will prepare you for marriage. Even while you are still, while you are married, it will still help you. And the goal is to enable people marry right and avoid all the problems we know today. Statistics hold it this way. Divorce rates are on the rise right now in Western countries, especially the Americas, including in church. Not only that, in some other countries of the world, we have issues of abuses in marital relationships. It will appear that our governments and the systems we have in place do little or nothing to prepare people for marriage and they are correct, they are right because the responsibility to prepare people for marriage actually lies on the shoulders of the church. The church is actually God's agency, colonizing agency on earth. The headquarters is in heaven. The church is right here to prepare men for the life of the kingdom. And there is so much to learn from the scriptures. And of course, any Bible-believing kingdom of God church like us, we teach people the key things about relationship, the key things about marital relationship to be very specific, and how to get men get married right. I emphasize on that word, right. And so I want to introduce to you today what we'll be doing in this master's program, this course program. In fact, the title is, uh, the course name is Premarital Counseling Master's Course. Premarital Counseling Master's Course. As we hear it, Premarital Counseling. The motivation here is to equip the young people. And of course, anyone who intends to get married, whether young or a bit elderly. And in this Premarital Counseling Master's Course, you'll be learning deep things about God, his vision for the family, for the society, for marriage, how to get into marriage, and many more. And so we'll do series of uh, we'll do series of coverage on diverse topics involving the human relationship. All right, human relationship. The focus here will be on marital relationship. Uh, the 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 course code or the, rather the course name is premarital counseling master's course. That's the word. You can abbreviate it as PMCMC, PMCMC. Uh, oftentimes you will hear me use that. And if you may visit our social media platforms, I may hashtag this and uh, there'll be diverse teachings on it. We'll give it quotes. Uh, there'll be foundational issues to be discussed. Then we will go into deep, uh, deeper things, the master's levels. And we'll help you with so much knowledge. I can guarantee through God's word, what you will learn from this course, if you will be patient to follow through all the teachings we'll be uploading on our YouTube channel, this ministry channel. Even if the videos are not yet professionally touched, it will have effects on you. It is possible that after listening to this, you may want to reconsider why you got married. <laughs> That's not my wish for you though. It is also possible that after listening to the teachings we'll be giving you, uh, you may want to break off from a relationship that you are into, and you may also want to reconsider before you get into a relationship. May God bless you as you walk with us. So we shall begin with the first aspect of this teaching. And uh, we'll give you foundational principles regarding relationship. And we'll also talk about the rationale for counseling. We'll talk about God's original vision for relationship. And we're going to talk with you about why premarital counseling. That's the word. Why premarital counseling. We'll get to explain many things. The word premarital. Why is it called premarital? Why, why do they put the word counseling? What does it really mean? And um, 
We'll also show you the things that are involved in premarital counseling, and that will be for PMCMC 101. It's a master's course, so we'll get you to higher levels. And everything we're doing right here will be scripturally based. Scripturally based. And uh, there may be some research findings that will be added into it to enhance your understanding. And uh, in fact, psychosocial research findings will be adding to it regarding relationships. Then in uh, part two, we are going to cover a topic under PMCMC 102, the process of marriage. Interesting. You want to learn about that, don't you? The process. Because marriage is not something you don't get to puberty and or to adulthood and you just bomb into it. That is a process. And the shocking thing is that many right now are gnashing their teeth in the marital relationships they are in. And also many are enjoying the marriage they are in because they all did something or they each did something in the course of the marital process which either you did or you didn't do with yours or you are about to do or you are not about to do with yours so we're going to learn about this process in this pmcmc 102 we'll focus principally on singlehood we want to explain to you what it means to be alone uh, to be single and we'll also differentiate being single from being lonely from a scriptural standpoint and help you understand how you can make the most of your single life uh, we'll also help you understand the process of maturation and when you mature and also how to find someone which you think this is the person to settle down with remember it is premarital counseling master's course and in premarital it actually demands that you should get to know someone we'll let you know that and the lord will bless you trust me the lord will bless you um we're going to talk something about fascination and you are going to learn a lot about this how to demystify the myths we know today about love at first sight that you know the media propagates you're going to learn something from god's perspective it will change you listen up child of god if you are really born again you want to do things right or even if you are not born again suppose and you really want to learn the mind of god concerning married premarital activities premarital preparations then marriage and of course even the afterlife after marriage and uh, also things revolving around wedding this is the right platform in PMCMC 3, 103, actually PMCMC, Premarital Counseling Master's Course 103 is the code right here. There are things to be covered, several modules under this code. Uh, we are going to demystify dating. This one, we want to devote it to teaching you about dating and courtship and helping you understand from God's perspective what really God thinks about dating and courtship for the record. There is no word in the Bible called dating and courtship, but by deduction, we are going to help you rediscover it. It's right there, just that it's not defined like that, and you're going to learn a lot. It will help you, especially the young person right now who is dating or who is thinking of getting into courtship, who is wishing that you should really be dating by now, yet the right person seems not to be there. It will help you understand right and wrong, and there'll be some principles to be shared with you that will show you easily effortlessly what you must do whenever you are dating and how to discover who is right for you all right so we'll also show you how to do dating the kingdom way and the do's and don'ts during dating or what you call courtship in part four pm cmc 104 uh, we will be teaching you now the things or the most no things the most no things we'll be teaching you the most no things before you get married, they must know things. They must know things. This is too important. These are things, if you are not yet aware of them, please, it is advisable to consider first before you get married. Nothing frustrates like being married and actually regretting and saying things like, I did, wish I had known this before. You're going to learn so many things. And in this must know things before marriage, we'll show you who the male man is from God's perspective. You will discover who a man is. If you would understand the foundational principles shared right there in this master's course, mark my words, you will have a struggle-free marriage. God never, from the beginning, intended for marriage to be for better, for worse. That is carnality. It is devilish. That talk is a talk of the devil. Marriage is not meant for worse situations. Culture must not infiltrate the vision of the kingdom and destroy what God wants. You are going to also learn about the female, the woman, 
who is she? What does God say about her? What is the unique thing about her that even psychosocial research and even scientific studies have come in to also corroborate and also to help men even discover the Bible more? You're also going to learn God's purpose for bringing you two together mm. and his expectations on you as a couple when you get there. In fact, if you are dreaming, you are envisioning getting married, this is the right foundation for you. Then you're also going to learn communication in marriage. Uh, we'll also talk with you about medicals, uh, the clinical things you must consider before you get into marriage. This is too important. I know I shall also mention that again later on, but this PMCMC 104 is deep, is rich, it has a lot of things in it. You don't want to, and I'll take my time and do a topic by topic or subtopic by subtopic from a scriptural perspective. These are the things you need to know if you would understand that. I'm not going to exhaust, I'm not by any means, this, this is an official disclaimer, I'm trying to exhaust anything and give you the nitty gritty. No. At least, let me, by the grace of God, help you with the foundational things, the principles, the things you can use anywhere and even recommend for others and teach others if they would follow guaranteed success in their marital life. Praise God. So we'll learn these things. Still talking about under the most known things before marriage. These are the things you will rediscover while you are dating and you're undergoing counseling process. Um, it's possible that if you start a counseling process, perhaps with us, it is possible that maybe... Your engagement can take a bit longer again. It's possible. Praise God. Or it could take shorter now. You're also going to learn the customary factors. You're going to learn the church's role, you know, in your marriage. Uh, what the government, the state laws as a country you are in as a citizen. What does it think about marriage? What are the laws in force? What is it that is expected of you? You're also going to learn about financial matters. How to handle issues of finances, budgeting and the, more, and the rest. Then children and child upbringing. See what God expects of you. Uh, the legacy to keep for your children, you are going to learn to about work and walking and traveling and walking. Who should walk? All right. Should the wife, the husband, or walk? What does God think about all these things? You're also going to learn decision making. It's possible that you could be dating right now, and as a woman, you are dating is getting sad. And there's fear that this relationship may not go further because you are usurping authority. Listen up, even while you are still dating. God expects you to be submissive to the man. This will bless you. You're also going to now learn conflicts and how to resolve them. Even traveling, you know, you're going to learn about budget. Uh, even also, I talked about children, number of kids. You want to decide on that and how, what are the things to consider. Then one other important thing in this must know things is how much your post-marital life or your post-wedding event and the beginning of your marriage will influence your spiritual development and what to do. To stay spiritually strong it's very important and of course you're going to learn about the specific unique things about your marriage and about you two as individuals then you will learn of course by the grace of god intimacy in marriage this has to do with sexuality in marriage sexual activities in marriage and all of that and the boundaries even before marriage and the boundaries you must keep after marriage and there is more i won't exhaust right now so again this first video is just giving you an overview and the expectations and the things you will have. All right, remember, it's a whole master's course. I'm giving you part five, PMCMC 105. Uh, will take some time by the help of the Holy Spirit, teach you love. What is love really? What really is love from a kingdom perspective? And how does love apply in marital relationship? Is it possible that we could still be dating and we still are in love? Like people who are married will rediscover all these things. And in this PMCMC 105, I want to emphasize something right here. We will help you rediscover what truly is respect in marriage and what truly is love in marriage. Who should do what? Remember that in the foundational course, the very introduction, we will help you rediscover who the male is, all right? And who the female is. What did God expect the male to do and vice versa? Then in part six, the topic there will be grief. And under this topic of grief, we can cover several subtopics or modules. All right. Grief in marriage and how to handle grief is broad. What happens if after marriage, you now start getting sick, sicknesses come in, you cannot conceive. You cannot also procreate. The man dies or something happens that breaks your heart. How do you handle it? From a scriptural perspective, we'll show you. 
Um, <laughs> in past seven, this is interesting. I'm smiling because what God showed me to be shared right here is kind of for me, but powerful. <laughs> PM CMC 107 will cover the expected and the unexpected changes in marriage. This is now for you to know before you get married. That young man, young woman, when you get married, there are going to be some changes. Mm -hmm. Both on your body, about your finances, and many more. And even the changes you didn't expect. And we will, by God's grace, show you how to approach and handle these changes and stay healthy. Remember this again. Premarital counseling, then the marriage life is a working progress. People continuously get transformed the more they yield to God. And the more they align themselves with God's word, that's the more they enjoy their marital life. So we are going to show you the expected, unexpected <laughs> changes in marriage. What would you do if your in-laws suddenly visit you to stay for the next two hours, uh, the next two weeks, excuse me, please, before they tell you now the next plan of action, how long they again intend to stay? What do you do? They have arrived, bash into your home and do things as they want. What do you do as the woman and as, as the man? What will you do as the woman if your brother-in-law comes to the house and is dictating to you when to cook, what to cook for him? Those are the expected and the unexpected changes in marriage. These things have caused problems. Part 8, we are going to cover how to relate with in-laws now. You see the connection, you see. When we talk about these unexpected changes, I may take one critical aspect. How to handle relationships with your in-laws. Very important. Because if you are married, that means that you took someone's daughter from a particular family, that family may not be like yours. And chances are that people think differently, believe things differently, and they act according to their beliefs. According to God's word, what do we do? You need to know this. These are the things. And of course, many more. There will be a lot to cover. And as God is inspiring me, I will be producing a series of teachings and videos on that. Praise God. Then, in part 9, we are going to talk about the wedding. Mm -hmm. Praise God. That is a topic all by itself, the wedding. Uh, it will be interesting for you to know something, right? Here, that wedding is not marriage. It's an event. It is also possible that people had poor premarital preparation or, in fact, were never prepared premaritally. And because of this, they get themselves into lavish weddings and only end up, you know, licking their wounds. It will never happen to you. It will be interesting for you to know that when we begin to share on the wedding, what you are thinking most likely might change. You see, lack of self-control is killing many. Which one is better? Stay with a man or woman you are not yet formally married to or organize a solemnization event which will cost you almost nothing and do the right thing and the needful. We are kingdom citizens and we like to walk as per the laws of our state, the kingdom of God. Then after this, we shall go to part 10. I may want to conclude at this level. It's in fact, it's like a book, in effect. And I'm organizing it that, that this way so that you can go up chronologically. At the end, I may have to give some revision questions and all of that. It's a course. It's a master's course. And you're actually going to school. We may do some revision questions to, again, impress the key things. And in this part 10, I'm going to give concluding remarks. All right, the key things that we must conclude on, and uh, concluding remarks and some concluding thoughts, uh, wherein some questions again might be given as per all the other parts that we have already all shared. And so, I want to officially welcome you, welcome you to this amazing premarita master's course. Uh, we are doing this from a church, PCG Church is the lead ministry under the Kingdom of God Dominion Ministries, but this is actually the Kingdom of God. Uh, or the Kingdom School of Marriage in operation. And we want to make this course available on this YouTube channel and share it on other platforms so that you can access at any time. If you are distant, you are abroad, you know me, you really wish that I do counseling for you because of what you've heard so far and all of that. Wonderful. May God bless you for that. If I can't see you, we can't get to talk on WhatsApp face to face. If the messages I share, you may not have all the time to read with focus. If you get this video clip, on YouTube, you download it, and or you're listening to it while walking, it will always get your thoughts in line. After that, even before you get into your marriage, even if I'm not the one solemnizing your wedding, as a spiritual authority, we get to have to see face to face, and we again review these things and impress these principles. Remember, this is a preparation preparatory tool 
the realities may be different. Praise God for you. Last word. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 22 says, I'm reading the NIV from the NIV Bible. Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. This is why you need premarital counseling. And I'm giving you this master's course as inspired by God. May God bless you. Looking forward to seeing you in the next videos. You don't want to miss that. Goodbye.